The year is 1883. And Notre Dame, as a point of pilgrimage, has become a habitual tourist attraction, like the Great Pyramids of Egypt or the Vatican. And a young woman, and we only know her by the name of M, had the dream of it being, as a child, she was from England, of coming to Notre Dame and going to the top and hanging out with the gargoyles, the famous gargoyles, which were designed to be scarier than the demons that would try to attack the church. They're guardians of the church. So she walks over here to the store and she asks to buy a ticket. And imagine her response as a British woman that she needs to be escorted by a male to be able to go to the top of Notre Dame because it's improper for a young woman who is not married to go to the top of Notre Dame. And of course, being a British woman, she is like, this is crazy. And, they, and the man goes, but my lady, we are in a Catholic country and we are proper more than your Victorian sensibility. Infuriated, she runs down the street and she goes over to this cafe right over next to the park, trying to discover a way to get to the top of Notre Dame. Well, she bumps into an old woman and she goes, ma'am, an old English woman who had happened to live in Paris for quite a while. This was during the beautiful from Belle Epoque, the beautiful era of Paris, when Moulin Rouge and all the cabarets were raging. And she convinces this lady, if she pays for her lunch, that she will walk her to the top of Notre Dame. And they do so. They come over, they get in the line, tourist attraction as it is today, and they walk up the 200 odd steps to the top. Now, there's two bell towers, and there is no bell in this tower, but in the, in the north tower, excuse me, the south tower, there is a bell. 18 tons. I have no idea how the hell they got it up there. The bell's name is Emmanuel. And suddenly, a hailstorm started coming. And everyone ran into the bell tower to avoid the hail. It was covering the floor and hitting people on the head and everybody was... Thing. But M couldn't fit into the bell tower and she was stuck outside. She took her little parasol and was trying to dodge all the rocks. Well, some hundred people were in the bell tower. The bell started ringing as it was on the hour. And imagine the headache that you would get when you were in the bell tower. And M was pushed out, because she was standing right next to the door, the door, pushed out and the rush of people knocked her off the top of the tower. She fell down right here, being pushed by a mob trying to avoid the tower. And all they could find for any form of identification was a handkerchief that said M. And to this day, we do not know who she is.